today I'm going to recover gold from my melting disc crucible because I found in my magnifying glass that there are so many tiny particle gold here cemented because of my uh, torch and also this one have you remember that I melt gold here if you see a closer look in my magnifying glass here is a color yellow and not uh, forming into one so I want to recover that and I'm, uh, I'm sure here there's a gold uh, blasted here during our melting And this is all I got from the bricks. Okay. Okay, crushing our melting dish. sand borax and carbonate and also large particle from bricks let's add also this this one Done crushing and let's move into our Then Our material is added to our picker Then adding 35% hydrochloric acid to dissolve borax and carbonates. Since nothing left nitric acid on my storage, then I make my own. So what I have prepared here is a potassium nitrate, 200 gram, and 100 pp ml sulfuric acid 99.9% and also water uh, 75 ml so let's do it but before we proceed uh, I want to answer some questions of my viewers what are the ingredients of nitric acid so potassium nitrate and concentrated sulfuric acid and water that's three ingredients only and how to make nitric acid for gold recovery and for gold refining so this video is good for you so watch until the end so first thing to do is to add our potassium nitrate into around bottom plus one liter slowly and now then adding potassium nitrate to our round bottom plus then let's add our water here 75 ml yeah 
hole. And add a hundred fifty ML sulfuric acid. And this is my seat up here. Our distillation apparatus. Insert here. And place it into Insulate the before going to start the reaction insulate the round bottom plastic with aluminum foil Then add cold water here. And uh, water. This is the uh, out from the distillation. And this is in. With submergible water pump place it into the bucket and that is our source 5 volts yeah so let's run it with water and our 5 watts submersible water pump is working well and it's very good. Now I started to condense nitric acid, and this is uh, mostly water, but this is very useful for gold recovery. I add a PCB insulator to prevent the distillation. And our water supply, cold water, is working work well. This is out from the distillation apparatus, and this is in from our water pump. And after one hour, and the reaction has ended, and the more nitric acid will dis uh, distilled. So let's stop the reaction and this is our nitric acid so we test this one with copper because only few acid dissolve copper let's do it you can see here start dissolving with copper Yeah, 
dissolving copper so we confirm that our acid is very good for gold recovery that's awesome our nitric acid maybe 65 to 70 percent pure if purified so let's transfer to a bottle for storage After three hours, continue our job. Let's decant this hydrochloric acid. Wash with tap water to remove completely our dissolved borax and sodium carbonate now adding 35% hydrochloric acid and put it into the heat and the hydrochlo hydrochloric uh, is heating now and let's add start 3 ml nitric acid 3 6 so let's allow to, re to react Continue our aquaria. There's no base metal here, only gold particle, very tiny, but that is pure gold. And that's enough aquaria and let's allow the solution to cool down then filter. Okay, continue working here. Our solution is cooled down now and let's filter this one to our filter cotton. Now I'm done filtering and we captured sticky and larger particle of our material. So let's proceed to the next filtration which is filter paper. Some silver chloride forming in okay running to the next filter. Large filter paper very clean solution that passing through our filter paper no colloidal solid now i am done filtering and this is the result very clean solution so let's transfer this one for the next steps So 
let's hit our solution at least 40 C to react hydrochloric acid faster when we add sodium metabisulfite and now our aquarius solution is a uh, warm right right now and let's down this one okay denoxing with uh, urea to remove excess nitric if any gold precipitation using sodium metabisulfite for grid so let's begin so let's take a look what happened here if we got gold or not In this case, I don't I don't get a precipitation, and uh, it will goes back to a clear solution. That means there is excess nitric acid, so we fix it. So the fix this is the problem. We need to add urea here. Because at the beginning I add urea but uh, that is small amount and as you can see the urea has react to the solution then we hit our solution again In this case, we need to force our gold to precipitate here by heating at least one hour. And we add a little bit of SMB. Fire. Our nitric acid is too strong. That's why this is our problem encountered. If we hate the solution up to 120C, the nitric acid will be decomposed and we precipitate our gold. See you later. And after 30 minutes, the color has changed. And let's see what happened here after one hour again. After heating almost two hours and our fire has stopped, I got a precipitation at the bottom of my beaker here. Look at that. So what we're going to do now is to separate the liquid so let's let's decant the water here we drag our precipitation
So let's begin capturing some floating gold here. That is our precipitation. that is our precipitation and we need to refine for a reason because uh, forced precipitation is not a high quality of gold unlike the precipitation produced by sulfur forced precipitation produced by heating so it's not a good quality of gold so we need to refine now I'm done filtering I capture all gold mud here as you can see So what we're going to do is to refine and to another beaker and add 100 ml is enough for this amount of gold. One hundred ml of hydrochloric acid. Then heating first our hydrochloric acid with gold powder at least 80 to 100 C. Fire started. The reason why I'm heating hydrochloric acid is to react faster when contact to nitric acid. Because gold is volatile and easy to evaporate. So if the hydrochloric acid has heating and if contact to nitric acid it will dissolve gold quicker so no need to take longer in the heat and now the hydrochloric has almost boiled and it's time to add nitric acid started to 5 ml it's just enough see that quicker to dissolve gold powder and also filter paper so your aquarium solution no need to take longer into, into the height because it will dissolve all the gold powder very quick in just a, a 3 to 5 minutes is just enough then allow to cool down As you can see here, all black powder has been dissolved. So let's allow the solution to cool down and filter. Filter. So let's add small amount of water to reduce the evaporation of hydrochloric acid. and to precipitate silver if present form a silver chloride
Okay, done filtering and let's press this one. Taking longer. Small amount of liquid. So it's nice pressing. Very nice solution. Nice color. So let's filter this one to our filter paper. Let's hit a little bit. At least for TC. Okay, that's enough heating. It's only for TC. Then we have urea here because in just 5 ml, I'm, I'm sure there is excess nitric here. Okay, gold precipitation using sodium metabisulfite food grid. Let's take a look what happened here if we precipitate or not. Okay. The color has changed to brown. Creating too much sulfur. Let's allow this one to settle down and let's see what happens tomorrow. I add more water here to dilute the nitric or reducing the acidity nice after 16 hours we continue our job i keep this precipitation let's say looking let's, let's take a look in the closer yeah and that is our small precipitation very clean water so what we're going to do is to decant this water Our video is almost done and we proceed for washing boil with water three times and hydrochloric treatment three times then we melt this one transferring our precipitated material from this beaker to the smaller one for easy boiling Boiling of water, repeat this process at, re at least three times and always allow the gold to settle down at least 10 minutes. First treatment of hydrochloric acid, repeat this process at least uh, two to three times, then wash. After three times boiling with water, and three times boiling with hydrochloric acid that is our salt ready for drying i'm just trying to catch our gold powder here to filter paper for easy drying
and if you are done filtering uh, place it into a large beaker filter paper okay 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 let's take a look what happened here <laughs> that's crazy work okay our gold is dry and let's add to our melting dish crucible so let's add small amount of sodium carbonate Add small amount of borax. Okay, then fire our torch slowly. Nice button. Oh my god. Small amount of gold. Yeah. Very shine button. So let's take our skill. Okay, 1.6 gram. So thanks for watching. Imagine that is waste from our crossable and bricks that I was melted. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That's a big help for me.